Hello everybody, my name is Sausan Karache. I'm a teacher at the Ahliya School for Girls. I'm glad to be with you here today. Hope you are all feeling well and ready to make use of what I'm going to tell you. First of all, I need you to look at this picture here. Well, look at these people here in this picture. Look how great they look. Would you like to look like them when you grow old? Well, personally, I would. Look at this collection of fruits and vegetables. Look how great they look. Do they look also great for your health? As they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So what about saying three or four raw veggies a day keep the aging away? Well, this is what we are going to discuss today. The importance of eating raw fruits and vegetables. And specifically, we are going to talk about their content of enzymes and the effect they do on our health. As you all know, enzymes are made up of proteins and are considered organic catalysts. They catalyze many metabolic reactions in the body, such as digestion and absorption of food by everybody's cell. In fact, every metabolic activity in the body are catalyzed by metabolic enzymes. And always keep in your mind that enzymes are so vulnerable to high temperature. I mean when I say high temperature, the temperature we use for cooking food. The enzymes get denatured at this high temperature. Now, I know you all have a good knowledge about enzymes. Please take a few minutes and revise all your knowledge previous knowledge about enzymes, such as their function, their reaction, the factors that affect their reaction, and I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Welcome back. Well, as you know, there are so many enzymes, but we have two major types of enzymes, metabolic enzymes and food enzymes. When I say food enzymes, I mean the food that have live enzymes. When I say metabolic enzymes, I mean, uh, I mean the enzymes that run the body metabolic activities and are synthesized inside the body using raw food, which includes raw vegetables, raw fruits, grains, nuts, and even raw meat. As you know, without enzyme, there is no life. Remember always, aging is not so much a matter of how long a person has been alive, but it is rather a matter of integrity of tissue. Integrity of tissues depend on the amount of enzymes present that run the metabolic activity of every body cell. What we are going to discuss today is the type of enzymes that are also synthesized from raw food and also synthesized in our body. These type of enzymes are called antioxidant enzymes. These antioxidant enzymes are considered the body arsenal weaponry. They protect the body against the waste that are produced by the cell, against the damaging effect that these waste can cause to our cells. These wastes are called free radicals. In another word, the antioxidant enzymes can cancel or neutralize the damaging effect that can occur because of these free radicals. I need you now to sit for three minutes and think of cell weights that might damage our cells. I will be back with you in a few minutes. Welcome back. I hope you were able to track some substances that can cause damages to the cells, the waste of the cells that we call them free radicals. What are free radicals? Free radicals in chemistry are a group of atoms that are produced when oxygen reacts with certain molecules. Once they are formed, they can be highly reactive and can start a chain reaction like a domino. These free radicals that are produced by the cell, their chief dangers come from their ability to react with important cellular components. Eventually, the cells will function poorly or die. Well, because if they stay these radicals in between the cells, they might injure biological molecules of the cell membrane, such as protein and lipids. They can enter the cell and damage more components of the cell. 
and reach the nucleus and might cause damage to the DNA, causing these cells to get damaged, which leads to aging and other diseases. Research implicates free radicals in developments of a number of degenerative diseases, such as cataract, cardiovascular diseases, macular degeneration, and cancer. It was suggested that certain conditions, such as chronic diseases and aging, can tip the balance in favor of free radicals. That's why the body has established a defense system against these free radicals, which are the antioxidant enzymes. Again, the antioxidant enzymes, they can neutralize or can cancel the effect of the damaging effects of these free radicals. It is suggested that certain conditions, such as chronic diseases and aging, can tip the balance in favor of free radicals ill effect. The body has established a defense system against free radicals made of antioxidant enzymes. Example of antioxidant enzymes, catarase and superoxide dismutase. What we are going to study now, the effect of one of the previous antioxidant enzymes on a well-known cell waste, which is the hydrogen peroxide. This hydrogen peroxide is considered a byproduct, a harmful byproduct by the aerobic respiration. To stop the cells from being harmed by this product, it should be converted into less dangerous substance. And this can be done by the enzyme catalase as is shown in this equation. Look at this equation here. Look at the hydrogen peroxide. This is the hydrogen peroxide, how it is converted into water and oxygen. And here is the catalase that made this reaction possible. The catalase decomposes the hydrogen peroxide into less dangerous substances, the water and oxygen. Now, I'm going to demonstrate some experiment to prove the existence of antioxidant enzymes in all living cells. <coughs> Look what we have here. We have a liver from a sheep and a brain from a sheep. And we have here hydrogen peroxide, which is similar to the hydrogen peroxide produced as a waste from our living cells. Remember, it is a free radical. I'm going to demonstrate the effect of these living cells on this cell waste, uh, hydrogen peroxide. Now I'm going to take a small piece of each samples and add to it hydrogen peroxide. <coughs> to cut a small piece of this brain and insert it in this test tube. And I will add 15 ml of hydrogen peroxide. Now watch carefully what's happening. Can see the bubbles that is forming. Look carefully, look carefully the bubbles that are forming. This is oxygen gas. Now, I will take another sample from the liver. And add to it also hydrogen peroxide.
watch the large amount of bubbles that are forming. This is also oxygen gas. What do you conclude from the amount of catalase that is found in the liver and in the brain cell? Which one do you think has more catalase? The liver or the brain cells? Well, I need you now to sit for a few minutes and discuss this experiment and set a suitable conclusion for what you have seen. I will be back with you in a few minutes. I hope I made it clear for you that catalase along with other antioxidant enzymes are found naturally in living cells such as liver, liver cells, brain cells and many other cells of course. Now the question is what is the role of fresh colored fruits and vegetables in keeping our cells healthy and prevent them from getting damaged? Now, I will leave you for a few minutes to discuss this question with your teacher and try to find a suitable answer for it. Welcome back. I think the answer for your question would be that Fruits and vegetables have also antioxidant enzymes. Well, now I want to prove this to you by repeating the same experiments, but with different samples of fruits and vegetables. Watch me now. I have here different samples of fruits and vegetables. This is a yellow bell pepper. This is red bell pepper. This is red cabbages, this is broccoli, red grapes, and green bell pepper. Now, I will do the same as I did with the liver and the brain, the same procedure as I did with the liver and the brain. I will start first with this sample. I will take a little amount of the yellow bell pepper. of this crushed pepper and add to it 15 ml of hydrogen peroxide. Now I need you to watch carefully what will happen. Watch here the bubbles that are forming at the top of the solution. These are bubbles of oxygen. Now, I will repeat the same experiment with another sample, the red pepper. Also, it is crushed. Look at the bubbles at the top of the liquid. These are bubbles of oxygen. Look at these two tubes. Look at the oxygen that had formed at the top of the liquid. This is oxygen gas. And the same will happen if we do the experiment with the rest of the sample here. Also, you get oxygen gas. Well, I need you now to go for three minutes and discuss what you have seen and come out with a suitable conclusion for the experiment.
Welcome back. I'm sure by now you know that fresh fruits and vegetables have also antioxidant enzymes. But what effect they do to our body cells and accordingly to our health? When we eat cooked, live, enzyme deficient food, we force our body to produce enzyme to digest this food. That would lead to stealing enzymes from other parts of the body. We eventually sets up a competition among various tissues and organs. And that will result in a disruption in metabolism. On the long run, disruption of metabolism might be the direct cause for many incurable and chronic diseases, such as obesity, heart diseases, cancer, and many other degenerative diseases. You should be aware of the fact that your life is inversely proportional to the rate of exhaustion of your enzyme potential. Eating a lot of raw fruits and vegetables with live enzymes will increase your enzyme potential. In another word, these fruits and vegetables will let you live longer and better. Raw fruits and vegetables have live enzymes to keep them alive, the same way as we have metabolic enzymes to keep us alive. So when we eat raw fruits and vegetables with live enzymes, we ingest these enzymes and utilize them in our digestive processes. Despite who those believe that enzymes get destroyed in the stomach, live enzymes get destroyed in the stomach. Well, it has been proven that live enzymes can survive the journey through the stomach and can be used in our intestine and be utilized in digestive processes. When we cook this food with real enzyme, we kill these enzymes, the natural enzymes in it, and we force our pancreas to produce enzyme to digest this cooked food. Good time, we make, our, we make our pancreas so exhausted, and that will lead to weaken our immunity. Weaken our immunity will cause us more susceptible to many degenerative diseases and aging. Now I have an assignment for you. Please think of it and discuss it later with your teacher. Now read the following statement. Think of it and try to explain what does it mean. Everybody loves enzymes? Well, not really. Try to elaborate more and explain. Well, I hope you have enjoyed my module and found it useful. Please try to eat raw vegetables and fruit every day. Thank you. Bye. Dear colleagues, I hope you take these notes into consideration when you show this module to your students. First, you should bring with you a bowl of colored fruits and vegetables, or you might ask your student to bring their own fruits and vegetables. Then, the student at this stage should have a basic knowledge of enzymes, such as structure, function, and the factors that affect the rate of reaction. So during the first pause, student should recall and summon up their previous knowledge about enzymes, since the rest of the work is based on this knowledge. During the pause, the student should think of some ways, the free radicals that are produced by the cell during the metabolic activities. The student might not know all these ways, the free radicals, only one example of the cell waste the student should know, which is hydrogen peroxide. So explaining and elaborating on this matter is not required. During the third segment, you should explain what are the antioxidant enzymes and how they are intimately involved in the prevention of cellular damage of the common pathway of cancer, aging, and a variety of diseases, and how the antioxidant enzymes are also thought to have a role in slowing down the aging process and preventing heart disease and strokes. You can mention the names of the antioxidant enzymes and elaborate only on the enzyme catalyst. Blackboard is required to write the equation of the reaction of this enzyme with hydrogen peroxide to show the production of oxygen and water. 
As for segments four and five, you should discuss with the student their conclusion and start to direct their attention to the fresh fruits and vegetables you have brought at the beginning of the lesson. And should tell them that fresh fruits and vegetables have also antioxidant enzymes and that can be proven by experiments. As for segment six, again, you should discuss with the student their conclusion regarding their observation for the previous experiments on the food samples. You should explain with elaboration the importance of eating grow fruits and vegetables and compare them. Thank you all. Thank you all for listening.